have officially made it into the apartment. All the boxes are here. It took us like an hour and a half to get everything in here, but the IKEA delivery was so smooth. I'm so glad that I ended up paying for it because if I had to go pick it up and then bring it up without a trolley or something, that would have been so stressful. We got the whole IKEA delivery and then all my boxes and the Costco run stuff is here. But I honestly, like they're all really small. Like as you can see, like there's not that many things. So the first thing on my agenda today is to build all the furniture I ordered from Ikea because I'm boring my dad's power tools and he needs them back. So I'm trying to get it all done today. And as you can tell, I'm starting with the bed frame. I also ordered drawers to go underneath for extra storage because my closet is on the smaller side and my room in general is on the smaller side. It's nine by 10 feet. So that's why I got a twin size bed. I'm used to sleeping in a double, but I also don't roll around that much. So I'm hoping that this bed size won't be an issue. And I also ordered a drawer to go underneath my desk that's being delivered tomorrow. I actually got my desk and chair from Autonomous. So shout out to Autonomous for sending me those products. And I just think it's so funny because I've helped build so many Ikea desks for other people, like both my sisters and Adam when they moved out to university. And now it's kind of my turn because I have never moved out. So this is just like a first for me. Okay, after two hours, we finished the bed and the two drawers. So these are actually on wheels and they just like slide out. This is one drawer technically, but there's two compartments. And then I have like one smaller drawer that I'm probably gonna keep as like kind of a bedside drawer with like books and stuff. I'm not really sure yet, but I was having quite literally the biggest dilemma of what size bed to get, but I'm really glad that I went with the smaller size because now I have more space to like actually walk in the room and then have my desk because my desk and my bed are equally as important. If not, my desk is more important. So I'm thinking that I'll put the desk there and then I can have space for the chair to pull out and then I'll have a vanity over here, over here. Like I'm not sure yet. And I also have to unbox this. Adam's building, I'm building a little cart like a drawer kind of and we're gonna have a little race of who can finish first even though mine's kind of cheating mine's just a cart I believe it's a Pullman layout, so there's no island in front. But my roommate and I are probably gonna get like a faux one so we can also just like eat on it and like have a kitchen table. But as you guys saw, I do have one kitchen box, so I'm gonna just unpack that right now and maybe stock up the bathroom as well, but I don't really have that many things to be honest. So this is just the microwave and then we have one cupboard here. We're probably gonna put spices and things. And then we have toaster, kettle. This is the stove that actually doesn't work right now. So we're talking to the landlord to get that fixed. This drawer, we'll probably put oil and maybe like a bag of rice. This is just the dishwasher. And there's all these really nice drawers. They're not organized yet. There's this cupboard here as well. This is probably for cups and bowls and plates and things. And this is just the fridge that we have in the freezer. And let me show you guys the bathroom. The light is really inconvenient actually, but this is the bathroom. And then this is the shower. Well, I gotta get something to go on top of the toilet just for storage space.
are the small fruit plates that I got in Korea. They're mismatched, but they're really cute, so. Okay, I have my autonomous smart desk. I just got the classic size. I'm gonna put it in this corner of my room and I have that drawer underneath and the book cart by my bed. And I forgot the wooden slats actually for this bed, so I can't assemble the mattress today, but I will do that next time in like next week. This is a quick look into my new desk setup and I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Autonomous for sending me this entire new desk setup. As you guys know, I just had a regular desk back at home. I love that this is a standing desk so I can raise the desk all the way up to like 40 inches and also have the monitor raised so that it's at eye level so I don't have any like neck strain. And I chose the Autonomous Smart Desk Core. The desk itself is 53 by 29 inches. It's just the classic size and my desktop is bamboo. It's so nice and I just picked a white desk frame. I love the finish of it. It's more than enough space for me and everything I need to do as a student. And a lot of my friends always say that standing desks help with like their neck pain and their shoulder pain. So I'm really excited to try this out. And just so you guys know the height range of the desk, it goes up to 47 inches and then you can have a monitor on top of that. So that adds even more height. Just so you guys can get a better view of the whole chair. It is so comfortable, probably the most comfortable chair I've ever sat on. There's so many different mechanisms that make it ergonomic. You can adjust the headrest like to different angles. You can also adjust the height super easily. And I love that in addition to the breathable mesh there's this extra like cushion and support specifically for your lower back because all of our spines like naturally have an s-curve great lumbar support and if you guys want to shop the autonomous smart desk or the ergo chair pro then you can go to my link in the description box below and you can use code 22 brianna kwan at checkout to save five percent off thank you again autonomous for sending me the most ergonomic desk setup i have some last minute things that i need to pack up my entire desk and like tech situation needs to be packed up and taken with me this is one of the last things i had to bring up because i still needed it and I was still working for the last three weeks but now pharmacy school literally starts in like less than 24 hours so I gotta pack up all my stuff and I need to get settled in I'm in a bit of a rush again but we're gonna get it done like we always do so let's get into it also just to be transparent this is what my floor looks like right now and this all needs to be packed properly to actually go into the car so I need boxes ASAP. And this is what my desk situation is looking like. I can't believe I have to say goodbye to this. Maybe not with this exact setup, but I have had almost all of my undergrad study sessions in this corner with these print collection. This monitor is new, but this is essentially where my study blogs were born. I'm honestly kind of sad thinking about how I have to pack it up and I won't be studying here anymore, but it's okay. New year, new desk, apparently. This is the current situation. I don't know how to pack my desk stuff at all. Oh my god. I actually think this Levi print is one of the first prints I ever bought. It's from Astronaut, Astronaut, and she's actually a fellow Waterloo student that I found out after I started buying her stuff. She also made this AOT one that I obsessed over. I think I own majority of her prints actually. And all of these movie posters are actually just regular paper that I got my mom to print at work because I got them off of Pinterest. And I have a whole video on like how I made my print wall, but that was like so long ago, which is crazy. And then I have some newer Studio Ghibli ones that are actually 
actually just postcards. I think I'm gonna take these to my new place so I can have that familiar but new feeling. But I am gonna take down some of my all-time favorites. some more clothes in this reusable bin and then I have all my hangers and stuff like that. This okay. is my monitor. Okay, no. Oh my gosh. This didn't fit horizontally so it has to be vertically right now. It's like half in the trunk. So my parents are moving me into the apartment today and the number one concern that we're all having is getting my monitor here because it is a 49 inch LG ultra wide and it is incredibly heavy. I started going to the gym so I could carry that monitor and it's been a couple months and I still can't carry it. It's just way too heavy. So I'm gonna help my dad carry it in and then I'm gonna get my desk all finalized and set up because school is starting literally tomorrow. Okay, so the monitor made it, but now we have to attach it with the monitor stand. LG makes it super easy. Okay guys, so my parents have left and I'm gonna be super honest, I'm really unmotivated to unpack my room because there's just so much to do, but I'm never gonna get anywhere if I don't start. So I'm gonna start off with my bed so that I have a nice place to sleep for school tomorrow and then I'm gonna move on to my desk and then bathroom will be the last because I'm still waiting for two shelves in the bathroom and if it's not organized today, I just need to be able to wash my face, brush my teeth and take showers. So I'm not too stressed about that. But these boxes in the closet is what I'm mostly stressed about. So honestly, I'm just going to put my headphones on and get started. This is the desk situation right now, and I need to be able to work on it tomorrow because school starts tomorrow. Now I'm gonna go and set up the bathroom. I have a million and one toiletries and makeup products. I honestly just like hoard so many things. You guys know me. So I'm gonna get started on that, but I'm gonna be completely honest. My energy is like plummeting. I just feel like there's so much to do. And even though I've started and I've made progress, I just feel like 
there's just still so much to be done so i'm not going to dwell on it anymore and let's just get into it okay guys now we are in my bathroom and the one thing that i wasn't anticipating was the lack of storage because most places at least have a mirror that you can open and like put toiletries in but my mirror does not have that and then i also don't have like a bathroom caddy that goes above the toilet so i actually ordered one on amazon and it should be coming sometime this week but in the meantime, I'm going to have to put all my toiletries under the sink and in these emoji containers that I picked up the other day. of sunscreen this one recently just came out it's a matte sunstick which i'm really excited to use this is like a regular glowy like liquid formula and then this is just a regular drugstore korean sunscreen stick that i got it's spf 50. i actually just picked up this jisoo honey infused leave-in conditioner this is my curl cream from korea this is my tangled teaser hairbrush Recently, I found out that Laneige tests on animals, so I will not be repurchasing this, even though I love it. Oh my god, I just found a new box. I currently don't have a vanity in my room, so I'm just gonna try my best to zhuzh this into those. I should probably get some floating shelves to put all my crap over here. But actually, in this gap right here, I'm getting a rolling cart to put more bath and like skincare products. Okay, I think this is the final look of these two containers. And then I just have this absolute like doozy. And this is all of my makeup stuff in this one bag that I'm gonna keep near my mirror in my room. <laughs> 